Once upon a time in a far-off land, there lived a young girl named Lily. She lived in a small village at the edge of a great forest with her mother and father. Her mother was a skilled seamstress, and her father was a woodcutter who provided wood for the village. Lily loved nothing more than exploring the woods and playing with the animals that lived there. One day, while playing in the woods, Lily stumbled upon a small, injured bird. She carefully picked it up and took it home to nurse it back to health. She named the bird Blue and took care of it every day, feeding it and making sure it had a warm place to sleep. Over time, Blue grew stronger and stronger, and soon it was time for the bird to return to the wild. Before Blue flew away, it thanked Lily for her kindness by giving her a magic feather. Whenever you need help, Blue said, just hold this feather and say, Blue, Blue, take me through, and you will be transported to a magical world where all your dreams can come true. Lily thanked Blue and tucked the feather away in her pocket. She didn't really believe in magic, but it was a nice thought, and she loved the bird for giving her such a special gift. One day, a terrible curse fell upon the village. The crops began to wither, and the animals started to fall ill. The villagers didn't know what to do, and they turned to Lily for help. She remembered Blue's magic feather and decided to give it a try. She held the feather tightly and whispered, Blue, Blue, take me through. In an instant, Lily was transported to a magical kingdom. It was a beautiful land filled with sparkling rivers, towering mountains, and lush forests. As she walked through the kingdom, she met a wise old wizard who told her that the only way to break the curse was to find a rare flower that grew at the top of a nearby mountain. Lily was determined to save her village, so she set off on the long and treacherous journey up the mountain. She climbed over rocky terrain, braved treacherous winds, and crossed raging rivers. Finally, she reached the top and found the rare flower. She plucked it carefully and held it close to her heart. As she began her journey back down the mountain, she stumbled upon a group of trolls who lived in a nearby cave. The trolls were not friendly, and they demanded that Lily give them the flower. Lily refused, and the trolls became angry. They chased her down the mountain, and Lily was forced to use her wits and her bravery to outsmart them. Finally, she made it back to her village with the flower in hand. She gave it to the wizard, who used it to break the curse. From that day forward, Lily was known as the girl who saved the village. She knew that she could not have done it alone and was grateful for the gift Blue had given her. She continued to explore the woods, always looking for new adventures and new friends. And every time she needed help, she held Blue's magic feather and whispered, Blue, Blue, take me through. And she was always transported to the magical kingdom, where anything was possible.